The London Stock Exchange, a financial institution and home of the UK stock market. But today it launched a new kind of market to rate carbon emissions. The carbon trading market is the first of its kind, turning carbon into an asset that can be bought and sold. We mean, need to make sure that carbon, the reduction in carbon emissions, is seen as an asset, an asset that can be traded, it can be sold and bought by individuals, by companies. And one element of that is having the, all the information you need to make an informed judgment that what you've got is a quality, a piece of quality uh, in the project or in the, uh, in the emissions reduction. And ratings can add value by doing a, an independent, objective analysis that understands the risks and the benefits of those sorts of projects. There are already 3,000 projects around the world that are hoping to get carbon rated. Speaking at the launch, climate change economist Lord Nicholas Stern said a global deal would go some way to reducing global warming. We have to cut our emissions down from a little above 40 gigatons of CO2 equivalent around 2000 down to around 20 gigatons by 2050. Over that 50 years, we have to cut them roughly in half. That will allow us to stabilize the concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere at around 500 parts per million of CO2 equivalent. Under the Kyoto Protocol, developed countries agree to reduce emissions. Part of that deal is based on trade between the developed and developing world. The developing world rightly is incensed by the inequity of all this. Rich countries are responsible for perhaps 70% of the stock of greenhouse gases that are there. Poor countries get hit earliest and hardest. And then they're asked, and they feel they have to because they're, they're at risk, they have to find a growth path, a low-carbon growth path, very different from that followed by rich countries. Unless we get these carbon markets working well, we are not going to get a global deal. We're, going to, we're playing for big stakes here. And the carbon markets, for the reasons I described, given the numbers I described, are absolutely central to this story. The launch marks an important step in recognising carbon as a commodity, making a vital contribution to tackling global climate change.